And as Deltans prepare for the 2023 regional elections in the state, the Residence Electoral Commissioner Rec of the Independent National Electoral Commission in Delta State on Monday, Tom, has said that the commission has created over 60 centers across the 25 local government areas of the state as a way to cover the registration process and awareness on campaign on the need for every Nigerian to register and get their PVC. Tom made this statement in a one-day special media CSO dialogue on deepening citizens' understanding of the amended Electoral Act 2022, put together by INEC and CMG in Asaba, Delta State Capital. Our Asaba correspondent, Apomidre Friday, reports that Tom said the centers are to enable them to overcome the challenges and difficulties facing electoral processes in the state. We are almost staying at the 26 centers. We are now have about 60-something uh, centers in the state. Therefore, the, 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 the difficult terrain the, uh, the, the creeks are being covered by our team who are devolving from one location to the other. So what we had initially, you know, was only at the local government headquarters. It presented a lot of problems for you to travel to that place. But now that we're moving around, those problems are being... Uh, On their part, the coordinator of Transition Monitoring Group, TMG, Edewo Egedegbe and other stakeholders call on the commission to fully put its house in order to give Nigerians the hope of a free and fair election in the states. 2022 electoral act, that has been cleared. Cleared. Now, all votings must go through, you know, electronic process. And it's only electronic process votes that will be recognized by law. So those are very clear innovatives that we have seen. And also, one year ahead of election, Funds have been released to INEC, as it were, unlike what it used to be, three, two months to election, INEC is still try, crying to see they've not gotten funds to do anything. Aside from nominating and presenting candidates for elections, it is the duty of political parties to conduct voters' education. INEC cannot do it alone. I'm happy the representative of the two leading parties are here. It is not enough for us to be interested in election after election, appointing people to head boards and parasitas. We need to educate the citizenry. Scrutinize what they are doing. Because by engaging the media practitioners, you get to unravel so many things that ordinarily you won't, you won't um, expose to the public. So I want to challenge practitioners to ensure that they get involved, do your, the best you can do within the confines of the ethics of the program. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.